creating a v-groove weld in Creo Parametric. In this demonstration, we will join two plates together in Creo Parametric by creating a v-groove weld between them. We have weldassembly.asm open. In the ribbon, select the Applications tab and click Welding from the Engineering group. We will join Base Plate and Plate 1 with a V-Groove weld. We will also perform edge preparation for this weld. Click Weld Wizard from the Insert group. Enable the Edge Prep feature. Select the V-Groove Weld feature and V-Groove Angle Cut Edge Preparation option. Click OK from the Weld Definition dialog box. The Edge Preparation dialog box opens and we can see that the message states, Select Contact Surfaces to Offset for Root Opening and or Angle Measurement. We will select this surface of the base plate. Click OK. Query select this surface for plate 1 and click OK. Next, we will select the first set of edges to be prepared for the highlighted contact surfaces of base plate.prt. We will select this edge Click OK and then Done from the Menu Manager. Finally, we will select the first set of edges to be prepared for the highlighted contact surfaces of Plate1.prt. We will select this edge, click OK and then Done. The message now states that all elements have been defined. Click OK from the Edge Preparation dialog box. Click Apply from the Groove Weld dashboard. Click Cancel from the Weld Definition dialog box. The V-Groove Weld is created. We can see that the weld is created from the end of one surface to the end of the other surface, which creates a slanted edge and may not be desirable. We can change the slanted edge by editing the definition of the groove weld. We will set up our model tree to show features and suppressed objects. Now we can edit the definition of the groove weld. We will modify the weld end dimensions to negative 2.5 and apply the changes. Let's now explore the symmetrical combination option and create a V-Groove weld on both sides of the plates. First, we will delete the weld and edge preparation we just created. Click Weld Wizard and select the symmetrical combination option. Ensure Double V-Groove is activated and select Double V-Groove Angle Cut for the Edge Preparation option. Click OK. We will select the contact surface on the base plate and click OK. We will then query select the contact surface on plate 1 and click OK. Select the edge to be prepared on the base plate. Click OK and Done from the Menu Manager. 
The system then asks to select the second set of edges to be prepared for the highlighted contact surfaces of baseplate.prt. Since we selected the symmetrical combination option, the second edge selected will be for the weld on the bottom of the plates. We will select this edge, click OK, and click Done. Now we are asked to select the edges to be prepared for plate 1. We will select this edge. For the first edge, click OK and Done. Then we will query select this edge for the second edge and click OK and Done. All elements have been defined so we will click OK from the Edge Preparation dialog box. Before we accept the double V-Groove weld, we will correct the slanted edge as we did before. To correct the bottom weld slanted edge, select the Location tab in the Groove Weld dashboard and click Other Side. We also need to flip the weld fill direction on the bottom weld. Click Apply from the dashboard. We have created a V-Groove weld that is symmetrical on both sides of the model with edge preparation on both sides of the model as well. This completes the demonstration.